Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hitty. It's a weather savant's video. I hope you're having a great Thursday. So far, it's still very windy outside. Uh, I've, I haven't felt well at all today. I've been fighting a migraine. I got some sinusy thing going on. So, not the best of days, but still, we're gonna do a video and um, take a look and see what's going on. We're gonna do long range forecast. We're gonna do a weather question. All coming up here over the next few minutes. First off, I want to give a huge shout out to my boys at Superior Roofing and Construction. They are a four state premium roofing contractor. Plus, they're locally owned and they're family owned. So, they're local here at 7th and High Street in Joplin. I had them do my roof a couple of months ago. You should have them do yours. Of course, the number is right there on the screen. All right, let's go ahead. Let's take a look and see what's going on. It's still very windy outside for us today. We have this storm system, which is pushing through, but uh, most of the precip is kind of rotating around us. You can see snow out across western Kansas into parts of Nebraska, and then we got showers and thunderstorms, which are building down through parts of Arkansas. Uh, so really, uh, it, all this system is doing for us is giving us clouds for most of the four state area in very windy conditions. But you can see the snow, uh, several inches of snow from northwest Kansas into parts of Nebraska, South Dakota, and then showers and thunderstorms down through Arkansas and then into Louisiana. But this system is going to pass through. It's going to push a cold front through later on tonight. So everybody's winds will drop back and start to diminish which is uh, definitely good news. If we go out toward the west, look at this. So already, next storm system is building out across the western third of the country. And look at this line. This is crazy. This is our jet stream, massive jet stream. So we have all these storm systems which are lining up out toward the west. So we are we're, we're in a pretty active pattern. We don't have a lot of cold air right now, but I do think that is going to change as we go through the next several weeks. So let's move to the weather question of the day. Are we done with the big Arctic blasts like we had last week? And the answer is no. Maybe not as cold as what we had last week, but we are gonna have some big Arctic blasts. Now, over about the next 10 days, 10 to 12 days, we don't have a whole bunch of cold air. But once we get into the second half of the month of January, we start to get a lot of storm systems that have that colder air in place. And, uh, and then late January into the first half of February, that's when I think we're gonna get some really big cold snaps back into the region. Of course, this is all based on my pattern, the heady pattern, which I've been working on uh, since 1999. So quite a while and I learned something new uh, just about, well, almost every day, but definitely every year. All right, let's go into this afternoon. Look at our temperature, 62 Kansas City, 71 in Joplin, 71 in Fort Smith, about 70 in Springfield, 67 in Tulsa. Then that cold front pushes in so everybody's temperatures start to drop off tonight. Look at the thunderstorms down through Arkansas, eastern parts of Missouri, but that's where they're going to stay. Nothing too strong, nothing severe. And then behind the front, we drop into the 20s, Dodge City, uh, Salina, Wichita, down to 29, 31 in Kansas City, and then 37 in uh, Joplin. So we do start to drop back a little bit more for us tonight. Friday, not bad. Partly sunny skies. Most of us 40s to lower 50s. Joplin 51 or 2. 43 in Kansas City. 48 in Wichita. So uh, not bad across the region. As we go into the weekend, of course, Saturday is New Year's Eve. Look at this. Southerly winds return. We start to warm back up. Most of us go into the 50s, if not 60s, for highs, which is fantastic. Sunday, New Year's Day, another pretty good day. But then on Monday, here comes our next stronger storm system. Showers, thunderstorms start to spread in Monday morning. But Monday afternoon, thunderstorms. Now, from Joplin to Tulsa to northwest Arkansas to Texarkana, some of these could be strong, maybe low-grade severe. So that is something that we want to keep our eyes on as we go into Monday afternoon and then also Monday evening. 
That line of strong, possibly severe storms, they push through southern Missouri into southeast Missouri. Here's Monday at 9 p.m. And then a much greater severe threat once you get from Little Rock over toward Memphis on Monday evening. So again, something we want to watch. As this storm system passes by, on Tuesday, we cool down just a little bit. And I really want to watch this wave. I talked about this yesterday. Uh, on Wednesday into Thursday, the models really aren't picking up on much. But I think there could be a little bit of moisture that tries to give us a little bit of rain and snow across Oklahoma, southeast Kansas, uh, into southwest Missouri. So that is something I want to watch for next Wednesday and Thursday as uh, that will at least give us some chances for rain and snow. All right, so the Arctic air is gone for a while. Uh, on Saturday, we have a wave pushing through in the morning that may give us a sprinkle, not a big deal. Showers, thunderstorms on Monday. The second half of the week is chilly. I'm gonna watch that wave as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. Again, it doesn't look like it has a lot of moisture, but still something that we will keep our eyes on. All right, late in the week, rain chances on the weekend of the 7th and the eighth. So that is going to be, uh, let's see here, I'm pulling up my calendar. So next Saturday and also Sunday. As we continue into January, the 11th and 12th, rain and or snow. This is when some cold air starts to get back down into the region. Rain and or snow on the 14th. And then again, the 17th and 18th. So these are going to be shots of colder air. Maybe not Arctic but shots of colder air. But once we get toward about the 28th, 29th, that system on the 31st and 1st, and the first half of February, that's when things really start to uh, get cold once again and we get really good shots for accumulating snow. All right, guys. I'm going to go rest my voice for a little bit, but uh, I, I I think I'm going to be on KOM News tonight as long as I'm feeling okay. Uh, make sure if you have any comments or questions uh, to leave them in the comment section below. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you'll get notifications. All right, guys, have a great Thursday afternoon.